Thanks for joining us again on The Cook's Pantry. We have a very special guest in here this afternoon, Miss Sarah Todd. You have set up an incredible life for yourself over in India. There's a, an incredible story to it. You've flown in, you're gonna cook for us a... Tray leash. So I'm making a beautiful three milk cake. And it's amazing because it's one of those cakes that you can just whip up at home. It's simple, not a lot of ingredients, but you know, I have a seven year old son and he is obsessed. He's like portion after it's portion. All the good stuff here. <laughs> so we're gonna separate all the eggs. You can help me right. out. That's what I do, egg whites in here. Oh, I mean. I knew oh. it, I knew it, I knew it. So <laughs> we're having this discussion before and like, yeah, there's two of us. I reckon we can make this work. We'll, we'll whisk it by hand. I said, yeah, cool, I'll take the yolks. Look how that's turned out. I got in quick. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, look at your muscles. Right. Like uh, oh, <laughs> don't, don't give me that. Okay, so you've got yolks. So you can start whisking. Right. Oh, right, so I need to get. And I'm going to put in some sugar into mine and I'll save some for you at the end. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> whites, you need to whisk them first to get them to firm peaks before you add the sugar. While you're doing that, I'll add the vanilla. So is, is the rest of the sugar going in here? Um, just put, not quite all of it, you can put okay. half. Right. I'll put the vanilla in. So what, how, how much sugar was that? So it About was, yeah. Right. And so what does it stand for? So tray leash is three milks. Three milks. So we've got evaporated, condensed and um, regular milk there. Yep. And so basically once the cake is cooked, it's light and fluffy and then we douse it with the milks. And when it's still warm? No, so you cool it down, let okay. it cool a little bit. Yep. And then coat it and then let it sit in the fridge, cool down, and then go for it. Eat it with some fruits and whatever you feel like, basically. Now we're looking at boss. Good. More? Good job. More? Am I done? <laughs> it's fine. All right, okay. <laughs> but I thought I'd just Beautiful. let you keep going for a yeah, little I bit. I was done 10 <laughs> You're minutes ago, a bit wasn't red. I? Yeah. Thank you. So I've got right. flour, baking powder, yep. and a pinch of salt. And then whisk that together. So, India. Yeah. So what's the story? Well, I mean, you know how it is, right? MasterChef airs all over the world. Yeah. And, you know, I just, um, I cooked alu gobi on the show. Yeah. So it's basically... Well, and that just went. Yeah, and then I had all these people just going crazy on my social media. Flew there and people just, you know, recognising on the street and yep. coming up and, yeah. Just, just took to it. Just went like that. And people are amazing and they're such huge foodies. You know, they're obsessed with food. Every single person, you that know. you talk to. Everyone, yeah. you yeah. know, they just grow up being obsessed with food and it's amazing. So just all right. fold all this, slowly fold through So you stuff. put a little portion in, just yeah. loosen that up. Yeah, exactly. And then bit by bit, just build it. Exactly. And then this will go into our baking tin. Yeah. In the oven at 184. For about 35 minutes. Okay, so, so it's sweet. quite quick. It's quite quick. Yeah. yeah. We'll come back and make the, uh, the beautiful three milk. What is it, a syrup? It's three milk. Three milk. We'll come back and make the three milk. <laughs> the cake is done now. It's nice and light. It's soaked up all of those three milks. So I've just mixed together the condensed milk, evaporated milk, and a little bit of regular milk, and soaked it and left it in the fridge to cool. And it's time to plate up. That's good. <laughs> so traditionally, what, what do you normally serve this with? It's just, you, just you know, it straight up? you can just have it straight up. I mean, actually, traditionally, it has another layer of cream on the top. <laughs> But I thought I'd just like Jesus. keep it a little bit more fresh. <laughs> so it's some fresh fruit just to yeah. sharpen it up, balance it out. Exactly. So I've got, you know, whatever's in season, go for it. Sorry. Mm. So I'll put that there. It's not as sweet as what I thought it was going to be. No, it's not. I mean, you know, there's not that much, you know, liquid that actually, it's, uh, you know. No, it's actually, yeah. Balanced or, no different than a normal cake. It's just got that. It's a bit creamier and yeah. moist and some fresh peach here. Done. Bit of that on the sides, like berries, anything berries, like that. Yeah. A little bit of sharpness to it would be absolutely spot on. Good to go. Go for it. Right. Oh, look at when you press it. <laughs> seeping out. I'm a little bit obsessed with this one. I need it. Mm. <laughs> really good. Nice. <laughs> Where, would you keep that 
If you do, up, like you're saying, if your son loves it, yeah, keep it in the fridge. I just, yeah, let it, because actually if you leave it overnight, it soaks up even more yeah, of that milk. I can and, see that. Yeah, it gets delicious and then it goes for the week. Massive fan. And it's something completely different to anything we've done on the show this series. Thank you very, very much. That no is no an worries. absolute cracker. Pleasure.